one you got out there is probably hot as a firecracker right now. That's for a whole on y'all. Peace, 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 everybody. Peace. Welcome, everybody. Can you please put a thumb in the chat if you can hear me? Salute to everybody. If you can hear me, put a thumb in the chat. Salute to everybody. First and foremost, infinite, infinite salute to the general in the building. The general, yo. <laughs> the general. Salute to MREC TV, the whole team. This is the first ever double live streaming of part two of the blackout, kind of, sort of. <laughs> Listen, the general, yo, the machine doing so much. Salute to everybody that's tapped in in totality with MREC TV, the spooky hours. So I just made the confirmation. We pulling up, me and my nieces, we pulling up to the Knockout Kings of Comedy show and be more next Saturday. If you in, I'm going to be in the building. The general might be in the building. He going to be there. So we pulling up. So the DMV, come on out. <laughs> Let's go. So yeah, welcome everybody. So in this live, I have some topics that, um, salute to Shri Bag, over there, the, the panelist sister, she is everything from Medina. Salute to everybody in Brooklyn, East New York, best Brownsville. <laughs> Ciao, Mill, um, Mill Basin. Ciao. But yeah, um, regarding speaking, uh, she invited, it was an honor to be on her panel to talk about the migrant situation in New York City. So, you know, I'm going to drag that too. So bear with me. I got two devices rocking. I'm charging one up because I got that. That's what the crack phone where the receipts is at. And sit back and enjoy the ride at the end of the day. It's a beautiful time to be alive. It's a beautiful time to be alive. Okay. But again, infinite love and light to my family in, in New York City. They carrying on, but be mindful. Just think outside the box and look at what you're looking at when you're looking at these quotation mark migrants. Know the difference between an immigrant and a migrant. That part. Um, so it's a lot going on, y'all. Love and light to everybody. It's three years later. The blackout show, just, just as far as the the, the show, salute, everything. I'll be getting notifications about the old bills. Yo, we 282K views. Cut it out. Y'all can't go live no more unless y'all talking about paperwork. Y'all cop callers. <laughs> y'all cop callers and flaggers on YouTube. Y'all some plaintiffs. Where my niece at? Y'all plaintiffs. No snitches. Y'all plaintiffs out here. <laughs> Y'all plaintiffs out here. But at the end of the day, it's night. And moving forward, we again, this is about the quality of life being restored. It's a lot going on. Let me get to the receipts. First of all, let's get into where y'all from and where y'all rep at. We doing shout outs too. <laughs> so to the Queen Baz, Bunny. I DM to if the general listen and tell her to answer my DM, please. <laughs> Salute everybody. What's good? Where y'all from? Where y'all at? Oh, and for the record, let the record reflect that Amina Nicole, the Earth Amina, a boogie, poo. I don't give out dates. 
If somebody's coming to you or out here talking about on October this and December that and February, never worry that, they're the ops. We don't know dates. I made in 2020, I made a reference to, to 10 days of darkness in October. I never even gave dates. I made a reference to that. And after the fact, it, it came to fruition that it's multiple different um, things under the guise of 10 days of darkness. But once I made that, the trolls, they, they, they had a feel. They thought they had a feel day. So at that point, I stopped giving dates. Dates and times are subject to change. The goalposts always getting pushed back in a good game, right? So anybody out here talking about dates, some old somebody with a YouTube page or Instagram account talking about dates, they are the opposition or they just doing it for attention. How is it that we never got we've never gotten dates? The whiteheads, there's no dates. They haven't gotten dates. But you, for picking any white picket fence USA, you have a date. Yeah, ma. Go go have a stadium full of seats. We ain't we ain't we ain't I ain't trying to hear that. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. You watching a movie. Again, for future reference, go into that movie for those who want to know what's going on, but in a way that it's not going to really stress you out or have you crying, you know, tear jerker movies. It's the movie They Live by John Carpenter, 1989. Keith David, Kirby from Dead Presidents, and Roddy Roddy Piper. And that explains exactly what's going on today and has been going on. So I have some articles. Yes, again, my name is Miss Lane, and I've been reporting <laughs> some articles. You know how we do on a blackout? We give y'all the, 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 the up-to-date current or things that, that people are scared to talk about. We talk about it all. You have asking with your reporting or AKA blogging videos or lives or whatever. You are shill agent. Talk about it all. We expose it all. I don't care. You a hoodwink, bamboozled, rocky or bullwinkle out here with the people. You get aired out when it comes over here. And this is just like for life for now and, 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 and after the part two. Child, don't play with me. We stay where we see. Peace, everybody. Another thing. Over here, you can't troll over here. Over here, though, it's a whole bunch of moderators. Maverick not here. Over here, I'm real snipey with my finger. You could, you can't be in the bushes over here. Well, you kind of with me, you are, because they got me shadow being halfway. It's cool, though. But... Anybody's welcome here. If you have an open mind, that's all that's asked. We, we always, me and the general have told and have said more than one back in 2020 early. Don't take our word for it. Go make yourselves in the know. Don't, don't, I'm, all, I'm already in the know and still becoming more in the know. Don't take my word for it. It's a beautiful thing for you to go and, and make yourself in the know. Because you witnessed it. You you bear witness to that. You bore witness to that. You could lead them to the ward of knowledge, but you can't make them think. Yeah, that part. There ain't nothing cultish over here. We ain't forcing knowledge down y'all throat. Because we do the knowledge to and everything. As God and earth. Ciao. But be mindful of who you are. Follow. I even hate that term follow. It's cultish. You have intel, information, knowledge. Information ain't knowledge. Somebody, a best friend, uncle, boyfriend, somebody coming to you with all this information. Ain't like, 
and it has nothing to do with nothing. You're like, who's this? What are you talking about? It's one little point that you may be familiar with that they get to, but everything else has nothing to do with what he get, attempting to get to. Information ain't knowledge. Information is useful, but it ain't knowledge. They come to you with all this, da da da. What am I supposed to do with that information? I don't need that. But you will always and can always need knowledge and to apply it. These fake two dollar campaigns. Yo, we are, the earth is the baby of the universe, but we, yo, they have, this whole construct is crazy. They sitting on stolen gold, et cetera, light years technology. They have suppressed all the patents from people of color. You find out that everything that you be over salivating for was patented and created, invented by a person of color, but off that $2 campaign corporation stuff philadelphia is my second home y'all carrying on because here's the thing martial law the national guard big in philly they've been there since 2020 where my sister marquina at when she was coming down from Boston, she said, yo, the National Guard is on 95 in Philly. The tank's on the side of the road. They've been there. And what did Amina say or mention? It may not be a national uh, uh, announcement of martial law, but they hear, they dare, it's martial law. It just hasn't been to where they announced a curfew, but they still been there. Philly, y'all was carrying on in 2020. Niggas was, yo, they was pulling the pumps out the ground in Philly. They were going into these banks and pulling the vault out the wall. Dead ass. But what did I mention? I said, right now, or when it when it, when when this is jumping off, because it's jumping off now. And y'all Black Lives Matter and Antifa people, you carry on. It ain't no bookings, baby bookings. It ain't no county. You going straight to federal prison. Now, on my page, this page that y'all on, we're going to start a little bit. Now, I got the video up on my, on my YouTube and YouTube hit me with an age restriction on the video of them looting in Santa City. Get the whole entire F-U-C-H out of here. Now, this is on my page. Philadelphia Black Lives BLM Rider. Now, they got you, Ma. You got BLM. They calling you. They got you on paper as a Black Lives Matter Rider. You know Black Lives Matter is, ter is ter listed as terrorists. Donald Trump and snuck that in before he, he dipped off but not dipped off. They label Antifa and Black Lives Matter as a terrorist organization with an executive order. Chat. So, Ma, you, you, they got Philadelphia BLM Rider, not just some, why they got you on blast like this? It's, it's not a Philadelphia looter. They will never take some old two dollar bitch that's in the stores and, and uh, somebody that, that's a thief and, and have you all the white hats got you on blast, ma. Huh? They got you on the summer jam screen. Philadelphia BLM rider, because you are labeled on paper as a BLM rider, you're not going to Philadelphia. You're not going to over there, um, um, Academy Road and all that. You're not going to jails over there, bitch in Philly. You going to a warrant. You going to where they keep BLM and Antifa, bitch. Hence why she crying. Hence the tears. The tears ain't because you got booked. You 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 consciously streamed yourself while you were stealing, ho. Ain't no crying and crying, ma. You consciously streamed yourself looting 
and you uploaded it. So you're not crying about that. You crying because they told you where you really going, home. You rip, chap. You going to federal jail. Now her mom asking for help to get her out? No. Hell no. No. You crying because it is what it is. You streaming live and doing all that laughing while the police was beating people up. Right. The fact that you pointed that out, you think somebody, the people that watched the camera and the footage did pick and then pick up on that? You're not, your peoples can't get you out, ma. The National Guard is in Philadelphia, been there. They called you a Black Lives Matter rioter. BLF is on the FBI hot in Antifa. Remember that old herpes ass chick over there? Wanted dead or alive, bounty on a poster. <laughs> okay. She was no flawless. Wanted dead or alive, bounty on a poster. And this was all why they rioted and looting. Why? When they find out about these precious celebrities. Now, you got whack 100. He police. Why y'all Jersey cats clout chasing him? He's a police. Salute to Hocus Four Fifth and his family. I'm glad they saved his daughters. They police. Fat Joe, he a gatekeeper. He the West East Coast version of Whack 100. But you got the white hats over in the in out the white hat community posting this chick. And what I say, the white hat's got your name and name out. You got your spreading to do. You, you just a, a, a casualty of war, ma. You out there carrying off a clout. And now you got a Black Lives Matter, which is on an FBI. That's on a terrorist list, ho. Right. Your family can't get you out. <laughs> you need some Jack Mac. You need some Jack Mac and some ramen noodles. <laughs> Well, in federal prison, I heard it's a little bit better. Okay. Ciao. Now, let me drag this. Where the general at? Again, you watching the movie? Hold on. Salute to Derek Johnson. He's the one, the military dude. He's the one that Pop told y'all that on January 20th of 2021, it was a, um, a military funeral for... Um, Joe Biden. I just wanted to show y'all this before I get into the articles. Um, me the general talk to you. Ciao! Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Who has a picture in the dirty tub? What are you talking about? Who has a picture in the dirty tub? What are you talking about? Ciao, please don't troll my chat. Where the moderator at? Okay, let me get into the articles all the time. Mm -mm. There's no crying in baseball. Oh, the meatball lady? Oh, okay. Hi, dog. Hi, Fookie. <laughs> okay. First article sent for the general from boxday.com. September 27th, world's first drug to regrow Teeth enters clinical trials. Child, we know what this is. Where my, where my, where the village at the front line at the wreck mob at? Y'all know what this is. World's first drug to regrow teeth. This is BS. This is BS. There's no drug to regrow treat, regrow teeth. This is med bed talk. They talking. There's no drug to regrow teeth. The med beds do that for you. The med beds, the quantum med beds, they grow limbs back and teeth and take 30 years physically off your body. They carry it on. World's first drug to regrow teeth. The med beds do that for you, for free. That cat out here, there's a couple of these, there's a couple of y'all that got these, these, um, 
These horse, these horse tape, these Mr. Ed veneers. Again, I ain't arguing with no hoe <laughs> that got multiple appointments to get veneers on the internet. We ain't doing it. World's first drug to regrow teeth enters clinical trials. No, the med beds bent out here. That is Tesla's energy. The real Nikola Tesla. The real Nikola Tesla. Nikola. He's still alive. He's like 200 years old. And he's from, he's not from Earth, he's from Venus. I got that receipt. Let me read. Source of article, boxing.com, September 27th, 2023. My name is Miss Lane Reporting. My name is Miss Lane Reporting in conjunction with Enrec TV. World's first drug to regrow teeth enters clinical trials. The ability to, ro to regrow your own teeth could be just around the corner. A team of scientists led by a Japanese pharmaceutical startup are getting set to start. You hear pharmaceutical startup. If you regrow teeth, why are you starting up? Why you ain't there yet? See, I pay attention to little details like that. These are people out here, venture, venture capitalists looking for startup capital. Show me your, your tooth regrown from taking a pill. Meanwhile, there's a whole med bed. You go in there for a couple of hours. You come out and it's different. Your limbs are regrown. Your teeth are regrown. It removes all the ailments out of your body. and removes 30 or 20 or 30 physical years off your body. Not aging face-wise, physically. Ciao. A team of scientists led by a Japanese pharmaceutical startup are getting set to start human trials on a new drug that has successfully grown new teeth in animal subjects. Always try to force because animals and human beings, homo sapiens, we are alike in many ways, but we're not the same. Just like with that was it two point, how much was it? $2.7 million grant in 2015, the Obama administration over there to the Wuhan lab for bat research. Meanwhile, we ain't heard or seen the word bat in anything COVID, right? But on that goddamn screen, that monitor, you zoom in, it says vaccines and non-human primates. They got a monkey on the screen and then a human next to it. Yeah, okay. Tor uh, Torgem Biopharma is slated to begin clinical trials in July of next year after it succeeded growing new teeth in mice five years ago. The, Jap the Japan Times reports mice and humans. Yeah, okay. Meanwhile, the med beds do this in humans. But okay. Dr. Katsu Takashi, a lead researcher on the project and head of the dentistry and oral surgery department at the Medical Research Institute Katano Hospital, says the idea of growing new teeth is every dentist's dream. You better take the blue pin from Africa and ask them why their teeth are so white and strong. I know they brush their teeth with corn. I know that corn cob over in Africa. They teeth they've been pulled out. They ain't got no metal in their goddamn mouth. Regrowing new teeth. Okay. It's all about prevention for me, but okay. I've been working on this since I was a graduate student. He told Japan's National Daily News site. Earlier this year, I was confident I'd be able to make it happen. In his research, which he's been conducting at Kyoto University since 2005, Takahashi learned of a particular gene in mice that affects the growth of their teeth. And that's mice and the growth of their teeth, not human. And mice, in, like, got it out. And then it just makes me go deeper into the rabbit hole and thinking about Remember the receipts I gave y'all in the, the general show? What that was, they shot underground with the night vision goggles and then a spaceship, whatever that was. <laughs> the 
alien, underworld, whatever it was, was a werewolf, whatever it was. And then everything about the splicing, about the receipts I have from Mama, Mama Gail, rest in power, Mama Gail, about these crawl spaces under these dumps and with the, the military, they, they, they are confronted with things that are growling and drooling and biting, something that they got to euthanize. The word euthanize is applied to putting down an animal. They they referencing euthanizing with displaced human things that they come in, in contact with underground. The antibody for this gene, USAG1, all that is corporate patented and all that. They then created it and took something and was messing with it that they had no business messing with. But yeah. We know about the med, the majority of us know about the med beds. It's quantum healing. It gets rid of the mental health that you are all in your head, the physical ailments. It regrows limbs. It takes 20 to 30 years physically off your life with Nikola Tesla's energy. Chat. Next article. Salute to everybody in the building. Chap. Source article, boxing.com. September 26, target to closed doors in New York, San Francisco, site and safety, death concerns. That's the throw off. Chap. All of these companies are going under. In 2020, they top upper echelon been stepped down. They've been stepped down. Some of the biggest companies in the world. So where you got Nike out here selling refurbished Jordans. Where is your, what about all the sneakers that y'all, that they, that Nike produce, um, manufactures that don't get sold? Why you just don't sell them? Why are you selling refurbished sneakers like some eBay Poshmark shit? Huh? Everything is crashing. Let me read. Target is closing nine stores across New York City, Seattle, San Francisco, and Portland, Oregon because of theft and organized crime. Niggas, they been stealing out of Target, child. So you have to shut... It's been that much of a loss. Target, the whole corporations took this much of a loss from theft that you closed in store. Get the whole entire F-A-W-K out of here. Target, Target, on the clock. They was already on blast for that transgender agenda with them clothes in there right this summer, right? That part. Walmart, we know, is owned by the federal government with them cages in the back. Who built the cages, Joe? You said you buy Jordans, you getting booked every time. Nike and Michael, especially Jordans, you paying three and four hundred dollars for some sneakers that cost eight dollars to make in Seoul, Korea. My cousin was stationed out there, and when he told me that it only cost eight dollars to make these Jordans, and they got them all out there. Yeah, you said you buy Jordans, chat. Anyone obsessed with Jordans is shallow to me. That's just my opinion, but I'm not here for my opinion. I'm here to report. Retailer is closing nine stores, Target. The retailer is closing nine stores in total, including Seattle, Portland, Oregon, as theft prevention efforts. Ciao. Meanwhile, back in the early 90s, in New York City, in Macy's, Bloomingdale, Saks, Nordstrom, Atrium, A&S, s and Boosters was cleaning them out. They still never close. They still open. S and D's is still open. I think Macy's still open. A and S is no longer. Atrium is still there. All these stores is still there. And 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 cats was going up in there with duffel bags, lined with aluminum foil, child, and booking them. They never close. Talking about the, how much did they, they, uh, that y'all take in in theft and organized retail crime? 
they involved in organized retail crime, child. How much loss did you take that you got to close? Target is closing all the come, come on now. Let's get it, y'all. Let's 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 let, you know make it make sense. Retailers have been facing a growing wave of theft in recent years. Who's stealing out of Target? Down here in these stores, they got those little gray squares. Every little thing from a pencil, they got them the magnetic sensors on the pencils down here, child. Who's stealing out of Target? Keep on listening to mainstream media if you want to. They lying. They lying. Have been facing a growth wave of death. Meanwhile, it's cameras all in there. It's people. It's, it, they got death prevention under covers in, in Walmart, definitely, and Target. They got people they hire for theft prevention, undercovers that be in the store looking for people to steal. Like, cut it out. Like, people will, will think, will, will hear that and be like, ah, oh, that's, you know, you know, people being ghetto, or, you know, I want to say what I want to say, but it ain't been 35 minutes yet. <laughs> but yeah, like, make it make sense. Start thinking outside the box. Think, yeah. Start thinking outside the box. Retailers have been facing a growing wave of theft in recent years that has led companies to take numerous steps in response, including locking up more merchandise. That ain't that ain't sex. Locking up more merchandise on shelves, hiring off-duty police officers, and closing some hard hit stores. Ain't nobody running up in there like it's a, like it's the Lufthansa heist that they they did, good fellas. When they ran up in the plane that booked the plane for $10 million, maybe more. Who going up in Target, child? Huh? Target said that said theft as the stores was threatening the safety of our team and guests. Meanwhile, we've never heard nobody running up in there with guns blazing in a Target on the nose. Like, cut it out. Child. Right. You said your ex was an undercover at Walmart. Yeah. Investments. See, when they start talking about investments, you already know what it is. It's something corporate and it's something about money. This is this the filler right here about theft, theft and all that. It's the filler. Why are y'all talking about investments to prevent theft? You want mo money to prevent theft? You want people? Listen, y'all under. Y'all going under. A corporation like this would not need to be making an article talking about they need investments to prevent theft if they are a billion dollar corporation. They are depleted. They can't move. So you're crying out publicly in, a, in an article misleading. Investments to prevent theft. So then y'all scrounge y'all books together and hire them niggas to do that. Including added security guards. Y'all are billion dollar corporation. Y'all hire niggas to do that. That's the reason why y'all closing stores. So y'all math ain't mathing. That part. They math ain't mathing. <laughs> using third party guard services, huh? And using a theft deterrent tools. Yo, just go down to Brownsville, scrounge up 200, 300, and put them in these stores. Ain't nobody gonna take nothing out of there. Get some East New York cats, niggas, and some Brownsville cats, hire them, security train them, and give them, you know what I mean? And put them in these stores. Ain't nobody gonna take shit out of there. <laughs> I don't want to insure. You talking about insurance? I don't want to hear nothing about insurance. That's corporate talk. I don't identify with the corporation, yo. I, insurance. I don't want to hear nothing about that. That's corporate talk. Why are they selling children online? That part. The children. That part. Why are they selling children online? That's the. That whole entire part right there. Target will work with certain team members at closing locations to allow them to transfer to other Target stores. Y'all going under. How low can you go? <laughs> How low can you go? That part. You want to get you a TV real quick? Right.
Next article. Hold on. Provided by the general. Oh, let's talk about this. Yeah. I'm going to see. Oh, it's a video. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Or Vibrio vulnificus, by its scientific name, is always present in the Gulf of Mexico. But warm water does seem to help it grow more efficiently, and thus doctors are urging swimmers to be careful. Tampa Bay is the deadliest area in the state for flesh-eating bacteria. So far this year, five people have died in Florida, and they were all in our area. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank is in the newsroom with a story. Evan. Haley, flesh-eating bacteria or Vibrio vulnificus by its scientific name is always present in the Gulf of Mexico. Mm. But warm water does seem to help it grow more efficiently and thus doctors are urging swimmers to be careful. Who wants to think about the things you can't see at the beach? You go to the beach to get in the water. If there's flesh-eating bacteria, I had no idea. But the reality, doctors say, is that the nastily named Vibrio vulnificus is always present and is likely blooming in the high water temperatures. This year, five in Florida have died from flesh-eating bacteria. Two in Hillsboro and one each in Pasco, Polk, and Sarasota. Do people have to stay out of the water to avoid this? I would say no, you do not have to stay out of the water. You just need to be conscious of a few questions. The two biggies are whether you have a compromised immune system and whether you have any open wounds. Oh. And remember, those can happen while you're at the beach, even from a bug bite or stepping on something sharp. There have been 26 cases in Florida this year, with eight coming in our waters. The very first sign that there may be a problem developing is that this minor scratch or other cut, uh, some break in the skin, is starting to look a little inflamed. Both Ben T. Davis and Cypress Point Park in Tampa have registered poor quality water samples as recently Buddha. as August 9th. Though five deaths and 26 cases are relatively few compared to the you, Hurricane Buddha. Ian induced year of 2022 when we saw 74 cases and 17 deaths, the fear is the warm water will keep bacteria in bloom. I'm just going to live my life, go what to the, the beach, take the grandkids. You know I'm going to drag this one. Maybe, uh, oh, maybe they next, fake next, fuck out of here. Beach. We are all used to carrying says, like Dr. to the yeah. beach, but doctors say it's not a bad idea to bring a small container of rubbing alcohol to take care of I any agree cuts with that. that might happen when I agree you're with out. that. Quick medical care is critical as a difference of just a few hours in this situation can save your life. Wow. Haley, back nice. to you. Just okay, I agree with that. Hold on, yeah. Evan, thank you. Okay. The yo, fake news. Okay. Hasn't had we these are supposed to be doctors, it, all these type of, of, of professionals in certain areas. Has anyone ever tested salt water? We, we, we are being very totally facetious, but these are supposed to be doctors. Is it about suppressing what salt water does, or do they even t do they even know what salt water does? Now, I would say this: even though salt water and chlorine are two different things, salt water purifies. You know, it, it 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 if you put salt on certain things, it draws infection out. But peroxide does that too. But I will say this. Being in New York and New York beaches, I never, you know, Jones Beach going all the way out to the end down Jones Beach or going to Sunken Meadow. That's not really a beach out in Long Island. Or Reese Beach, the private part. But my sister, my baby sister, she went to Coney Island Beach once one summer. And when she came back, she got in the water. When she came back, the next day, 
started off the night before. She had wingworm all over her body. She had wingworm all over her body when she went in the beach, got in the water at the beach in Coney Island. And I was like, oh, shoot. But the water at Coney Island looked like Hennessy, child. It's brown like a moth. The water at Coney Island Beach looked like Hennessy, just like certain certain places in Far Rock. It looked like Hennessy, child, brown. She had the wingworm patches all over her body, child. All over. It was from her getting in the water. But flesh-eating bacteria, I believe that because of what happened to my sister. Salt water is supposed to purify, you know, things, yes. But then you got the natural purification of water fighting against continuous, continual, continual, continual dumping of garbage, toxics, oils, all kind of sugar, honey, iced tea into the ocean. Yeah, looked like Hennessy. I'm like, why are you getting it? She said it was brown like iced tea. I was like, well, you was getting the Hennessy water. <laughs> Using the Hennessy water, chap. The dirty, the dirty uh, water, freight water. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, salute to everybody over there. Okay. Yeah, so you just have to. Yeah, in Florida though. But Florida, though, I, I can't reiterate this enough, ladies and gentlemen, family, yo. It's misinformation, misinform knowledge, intel. Usually when intel, when I say intel, we know about intel. It's, it's usually something that is like, eh, it's intel, declassified, spyish, espionage type of stuff. But information misinformation is necessary this information is fake news fake news where did you know we're at so i could drag this Chap. i thought i started to drag mm -hmm. hold on yeah all right we're getting into it and getting into it all right did that Hold on. Now, the White Hat's trolling. Listen, yo. Chow. The White Hat's trolling. Just next door from Trump's civil hearing. Because Trump, Giuliani, and them, is, 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 they still in, in court, but Trump's not there. His lawyers are there for him. So right next door, remember I popped Robert Menendez the, next, uh, the day before yesterday? The wife, him and his wife, in the bribery case, they get tried right, right next door to Trump civil hearing. You think they not trolling? Child! You think they not trolling? Right next door from Trump civil hearing, Robert Menendez is in court. Him and his wife. Child! <laughs> now, the troll of the, the troll of the week is that is out here that the deep state is trying to make fun or try to uh, uh, devalue Mar Lago. Hold on, they said Mar Lago is, is only 18 million, 18 million dollars. 18 million dollars. They said Mar Lago is 18 million dollars, right? <laughs> they said that Hunter Biden's paintings cost more than Donald Trump's Mar Lago. On top of Donald Trump being a national and sovereign and part of a tribe, Mar Lago ain't no eighteen million dollars. You know why? Because it is his land. It always has been. That's sovereign land right there. I heard Joe Button say something about Donald Trump buried his wife on his property. Could have tax pay uh, the tax um write off. No dummy. He buried his wife on sovereign land because can't nobody do nothing to it. 
That's the mother of his, of his children. That's his land. It got nothing to do with tax write-off. This is a man that paid, that was paying taxes five and six years ahead of time, knowing that they were illegal from the jump. No tax land. Nobody can go and do anything. That's peaceful, soft. That's his land. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to get because I got some more. I had to get at an hour. They cut me off, but if I'm in the middle of anything, I know the general's not going to um, stream it. But this is going to be exclusively for MREC TV. Okay, can y'all hear me? It's a resort. It's not a resort. Mar Lago's not a resort. That's a compound. That's the Winter White House. You can't go there and run a room at Mall Lago. You can go there and play golf and stuff like that. But it's his, it's so, he's sovereign. Donald Trump is part of a tribe. And we can go into that bill. And I don't care who don't like it. Come at me. I'm debunking. I'm shutting y'all all down. Donald Trump. See, when you use terms like black and white, you need to watch your step. Black and white, they come to the 50s in this country. When Adolf Hitler said that the original man is the jewel of the earth, he didn't say Negro, black, colored. He said original out of his own mouth. Black and white are corporate terms. It has nothing to do with race. You're not black. Do you like a piece of black construction paper? Do you like a piece of white construction paper? You get every color of the rainbow from the colored man, yes. Then you got your cool grandchildren carrying on out here. White and black are, there's no culture with that. What is black culture? You can say, oh, this is black culture. Then I can come back behind you and tell you, no, it's not. It's from this. What is black culture? Black is a title. Circumvent money is a construct. African-American. 85% of, of, of people are indigenous, their family and bloodline is indigenous to a tribe in North America. If you could trace your ancestry back to Africa, that's everything. Because that's the continent of, of, of that's like the greatest natural resource. World's greatest, the whole continent of Africa. But again, Mar Lago. It got Pat. What happened with Mar Lago? Who could tell me how Donald Trump got Mar Lago? Such and such family sold it to him back in the 80s, right? Whose family sold Mar Lago? Who Trump bought Mar Lago from? Listen, I know it, I know a lot. Whose family sold Donald Trump Mar Lago? He purchased it for, for however much he purchased it for. I'll pop that 2020. The Naturalization Act, anything regarding it, uh, uh, um, um, citizenship, naturalization, I don't identify with it. I ain't no citizen and I ain't an immigrant. I'm a civilian on my way to becoming, uh, uh, claiming my national stat status and title. Citizen mean worker for the corporation. I ain't no citizen. <laughs> right. $18 million. Look at this shit. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Look at this. I'm talking about $18 million. This right here is $18 million. <laughs> this little part right here is $18 million. All of this? Chill. Cut it out. Trump is a Kennedy. Or well, not a Kennedy. He colony. Donald Trump. John Fitzgerald Kennedy was Donald Trump's uncle. Him and Junior are cousins, first cousins. Abraham Lincoln is the great uncle. Abraham Lincoln is John Fitzgerald Kennedy's uncle, and John Fitzgerald Kennedy Jr., I mean Sr., was Donald Trump's uncle. That make him and Junior first cousins. 
They colony. Look at this. Look at it. Chat. Read Black Law's Dictionary. Been there, done that. Judges are going to tell me how much my property is worth now. Now they are saying the president tricked the bank. Holy sugar, honey, I see. I'm going to try that tomorrow and get away with it. Right. And isn't it odd? The bank never complained. It might take a year or two, but all this will come out in the wash. Letitia J, she on the clock. Where my big bro source money at? Letitia J, I was just talking about her on street panel. Letitia J doesn't even have the authority to bring these charges. Just more. She on the clock. They exposing her. Again, how that hoe go from being head of NYCHA and they do sugar, honey, iced tea for NYCHA. She ain't do shit for NYCHA. And I was just talking on my um the sister panel. Look, I know it all. Letitia James started off through the assembly and all that worked her way up. She became NYCHA. Now, when I was facilitating evictions with the sheriffs with NYCHA, yeah, a lot of papers from that hose desk came across. Meanwhile, that's when NYCHA was at, everybody was complaining, rats everywhere. They started to charge people for lights, your lights and water and air conditioning in the projects. And that's when I mean the general popped in 2021, no, 2020. That that NYCHA had a con a billion dollar uh, contract with Con Ed. Yeah, and they wasn't trying to fumble that 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 contract. Letitia James had to step up. And how the hell she go from being a, a head of NYCHA to the attorney general? Trump got her name in his mouth because she on the clock. Ho, that whole on the clock, just like Fonnie Willis and the rest. Donald Trump mentioned in your name, you got she explaining to do, Lucy. What happened at Fat Alvin, Alvin Bragg, and the and the and the district attorney's office in the Southern District Court of New York? It was exposed. He had get more. You ain't heard nothing from him in four Sundays. In four Sundays. Meanwhile, now, yesterday I posted that the military booked the nigga, right? Now, where I show y'all, where I tell y'all, when that X across that picture, what that mean? What that mean, y'all? This bastard. What did it mean? What does it mean when I show y'all when one line through the picture or it's X through? When one line mean, you almost executed. When this shit is X out and mean, you dead now. The military hung you. The military skedaddled you out of his out of his life, Tom. Executed, right? That whole entire part. Now, where the general at? Again, ninety five percent of Hollywood and these puppets they transgender with their agenda, pushing the agenda of the elite. Now it's being exposed, like I said, it would. That that Hollywood was they were going the White Hats was gonna start airing these Hollywood out for being transgender. And that's all you see. I've been popping them since 2020. Right? Now, everybody doesn't want to believe they denial a river in Africa and they, they drown it in it. Whatever. But reality is what it is, okay? You seeing doubles, CGI, deep fakes. These people ain't around no more. But more importantly, the men in hip hop, because I'm a female, so I'm going to speak. The men in hip hop, certain men in hip hop, y'all got some explaining to do. A lot of y'all can't explain because y'all can't, y'all non responsive, that part. But, you know, start asking questions like, okay, these is transgender, homeboy, you got some explaining to do. Meanwhile, don't play with me. I popped this in 2020. We drug it. With matter of fact, hold on. Don't play with Amina. Where did you know at? Where is that? I screenshotted it. Let me see if it's here. Don't play with me. Hold on. I screen. I think I screenshotted it. I thought I did. Where hold on. I thought I screenshotted it. Uh, 
I thought I screenshotted it. Hold on, yeah. I was getting cut off in two minutes. Bon, here we go, right here. This is the general. This is the very first blackout live stream we did when the general was in Vegas with uh, the Queen China Black celebrating her born day. And this is when that robot Beyonce was out there. 154K views. It was lit. It was 5, 6K in the chat. And that's we popped that robot Beyonce. But meanwhile, before they cut this live off, nah, let me end it and come back. Let me end it and come back. But before that, ciao. Ciao. That's the general right there. Meanwhile, remember when Beyonce stomach folded, bitch? With Beyonce over there in Australia. Remember her stomach folded like a $2 card table? Chat, Where that baby at? That's Beyonce. Prosthetic belly suddenly collapses until that shit folded like grand opening, grand closing. This is a boy, a FTM, I mean an MTF. Always has been. Now, it's not like you, you, you really pregnant and you try to hide that you really pregnant. You just don't go outside. Oh, stomach look like easy bake oven. That shit folded and open. Get the fuck out of here, ho. Listen, man. In 2011, Beyonce was busted during an interview wearing a fake prosthetic belly. This is for those who ask how can they show a pregnant belly and not be female. Yeah, as Beyonce goes to sit down in which she, in quotation marks, and properly position herself, especially for a pregnant woman. Right. How you pregnant women don't sit down like that. Chat. Her stomach doing a motherfucking butterfly. Chat. <laughs> Flat tire, right. Help. Down goes Frazier. Chat. If I was a boy, nah, you is. Ho. <laughs> Fuck these puppets. All right, I'm coming right back, y'all. I'll be right back. I'll see y'all in 52 seconds. Yeah, er. I'm, I'm... Instagram getting me from uploading it. What? They getting me from uploading it. What you, what you was about to upload? The live. I'm gonna upload it and then leave it for like a few seconds. Nah, I, I'm good. I recorded it. Yeah, I got oh, the whole. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, 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 it's, okay, it's streaming. Okay. No, you can go back, go back live again. I'm up, I'm yeah. streaming now. Yo, it was. It was uh, you said it was all. Uh, Okay, yeah, it's like still eleven twenty eight in the building. Oh, hold on. They hear that shit? Oh shit. <laughs> oh, let me see something. <laughs> yeah, no, it was because um. They was giving, they wouldn't let me upload the shit. I went to upload it. They said, sorry, can't upload right now. Well, huh? That's crazy. Hold on, let me. I ain't know they can hear that shit. Yeah, I know that. They're like, we waiting. <laughs> she coming. She coming now. Be easy, y'all. <laughs> All right, I'm going to see. I'm going to stay in the chat.
Peace, y'all. Welcome back. <laughs> yes, y'all heard me on the phone with the general. <laughs> uh, Instagram wouldn't let me upload the love. They would not let me upload. I kept trying to upload it because I didn't have a moderator. I just went to share. They was like, we can't, uh, we can't upload it at this time. Huh? They mad. I didn't even get to... I assume, I'm assuming it's because of Beyonce. <laughs> Not about nothing else important I talked about about that whole child. All right, let me go back. Okay. Oh, what I was saying about Junior. Sorry, let me put the time. What I was saying about Potus and Junior. See, they first cousins. Sorry, yeah. Y'all looking into a crack phone receipts can't have that. Donald Trump and Junior are first cousins. POTUS and JFK Jr. relationship plane crash 1999. Hillary Rodham Clinton Senate 2000. That attempted assassination on him did not work. This man's still out here. He alive. John Fitzgerald Kennedy, his pops lived to be 101, 103. His mom's the wife, he has three children, that part. And they not what y'all say is white. They are colluding. The Kennedys, they were kidnapped and sold to Joseph and Rose Kennedy of the 13 crime families. They are not bloodline birth Kennedys. They colluding. They are direct descendants of Abraham biblically from the Bible. Abraham Lincoln, William Wallace Lincoln. That's their uncles. Donald Trump is a first cousin to these days. Period. Here he go when he was a little boy. That's John. When he was a little boy. Now. Ciao. Wait, let me pull that article from Mama Eagle Eye. Hold on. I gotta go to my other email. Bear with me, y'all. Uh... Yeah. All right, let me turn the request to go live off. Mm-mm. Okay. Where is she at? No, Mickey, no, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. No. She sent me something. Somebody sent me something regarding Bitcoin. Here we go. Here we go. Now, in order for things moving forward to happen regarding this republic restored, this country is a republic restored. Donald Trump is still commander in chief. He never conceded. Under these executive orders and military law and act, act, he's still commander in chief, wartime commander in chief. He never conceded. People seem to have forgotten that. You got to fake. There's no administ- presidential administration right now. The military is in control interim under the guise of President Trump because he invoked it, invoked this, the, um, the Insurrection Act of 1807 on November 4th of 2020. Bitcoin is pedophile money. All that Dogecoin, Forex, all that shit. Meanwhile, wait, let me go before. Meanwhile, I popped this earlier this week or last week. Hold on. Bonk, all y'all niggas that was talking about that CBDC, oh, not Earth, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I popped it. House Financial Services Committee passes bill to ban the Federal Reserve from creating a central bank digital currency. That CBDC, y'all shit, y'all niggas was talking. I told y'all it would never happen. In this republic, it go back to the gold barrack and the gold bullion and the gold standard. Our money now, today, is backed by gold. It's no more dollars. It's a U.S. Treasury note. That Federal Reserve note is an IOU. It, it been empty. You walking around with an IOU in your pocket. All the gold. Banks must have gold in their reserves. That's how that go down. They stole all the gold. And the, Donald Trump and them got it all back. 650 trips 
on a plane to bring the gold back and forth from where they felt they got it back from. 650 trips. Over three, four hundred billion in gold bullion that they got from the Vatican, not to mention the ones that they, they found, the gold they found in the Bush Ranch in Texas. They booked that gold on September 11th from the Federal Reserve. Go watch Die Hard with a Vengeance with Sam Jackson, with Simon Says, with the with the with the um the construction trucks. They they booked the Federal Reserve. All that digital currency, yo, at the end of the day, this is a quantum financial system being, being implemented. The SAR and all of that. No more hostile surveillance on your privacy with your banking, your money. Fifteen All credit card debt, mortgage, all that due to illegal banking well, will be indeed. removed. It has been. Credit is a thing of the past. Y'all bragging about y'all high credit scores, Chad. We in general told y'all in 2020. Credit was a be, would be a thing of the past. It's a line up. They double dip in. You bragging to me about a six or eight hundred credit score lets me know that you in debt, you got mad bills, and you pay on time every month. That's what it let me know about you. Ain't nothing better about you than me with an 850 or 750 credit score. I don't have a credit score, and I'm fine. I use cash and money order to pay for things. Listen, credit been a line up. With the Federal Reserve gone, so is credit. That part. With the Federal Reserve absolved, gone, and the IRS, so is credit. 341 quadrillion dollars worth of gold. That's the St. Germain Trust. That trust got, got, it's a one with 100 zeros. Remember I showed y'all that? A one with 100 zeros. And y'all talking about somebody baby neck on the internet. Child. Child. Now, remember me and the general pop, frazzle drip, Tom Hanks, that's that baby face scratched off. They go to the hoodie with Ellen hat on. And who else had that hoodie on? Jay-Z. That's the picture right there. Somebody got that on an album cover. Where that sat? Child. Look. They got it on an album cover. This is a child that was murdered, face scratched, or face removed, disemboweled, disemboweled by Hillary Clinton and Human Aberdeen. And they got it on an album cover. This is the, the picture for the Frazzle Drip leak. The chief of the NYPD, A4 Priest, and said, ain't gonna be no Houdini sugar honey iced tea when it come to who was responsible for this. They knew who was responsible for it because they had the laptop. 12 officers, 10 of them is dead now. They say by suicide. Lies. Lies. Them two officers didn't kill self. 10 out of the 12. Chow. That's a child with his face cut off and they mocked it in pictures. Chow. And this hoodie was made by that Virgil A nigga of off-white brand. That's dead now. That name was on that indictment out of the Southern District Court of California, I mean, New York, for trafficking. For trafficking and sexual abuse. That, 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 that Latham family, that, that indictment out of the Southern District Court of New York that I popped, that got Jeffrey Epstein, Harvey Weinstein, and Sean Carter as the top three names as defendant. And the page, out of 13 pages, I, I showed y'all the pages when they ran that train, that five-year-old girl. Yeah, okay. Suicide. Were they friends of Hillary? Who, who friends of Hillary? What are you talking about? They said he died of cancer that he, nobody knew he had. Just like Chadwick Boseman died of cancer nobody knew he had. Listen, ain't, it's more than one way to see something. And we ain't, we ain't, they say jacking it, buying it. We ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. Right, Mama Eagle, huh? Chow. They making fun of shit in Hollywood. Chow. Look, American Psycho. That movie Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas where they talk straight out about Adrena Crawl, Johnny Depp, and Benicio Del Toro. 
Ciao. This is Saturday Night Live with John Krasinski. Look at the painting in the background. Saturday Night Live is the biggest okie doke. They be dead ass serious, but they, they, they put it in satire form. You think they joking? They dead ass serious. When The Rock said, I'm making a child molested robot. He a child. He was a child. He, she was a child molesting pedophile ass nigga. That's why the military killed his ass. Pedophiles. It's all about this right here. 32,000 miles of tunnels and dumps. World beneath your feet. It's about these babies. Meanwhile, back in April and March of 2020, me and the general on the blackout show, we started it. We, I show, we showed y'all the video of them tents in Central Park and underneath them tunnels that lead all the way to the East River and St. Patrick Cathedral and up to 125th Street, the Adam Clayton Powell Jr. building where Bill Clinton had an office, right? The whole floor, that part. It was a fake COVID testing site. They had all, I showed y'all the video with the Pampers, the boxes of the Pampers and the ventilators. They were bringing them children up from them tunnels and they was dying when they reached the surface because they never breathed a breath of fresh air. And they used the ventilators to save them babies and they shipped 250,000 overseas. When he started naming them countries, France, Spain, Italy, they were caught up. They were saving those, sending those ventilators to them children, them countries they was bringing from them trafficking tunnels over there. They sent over 250,000 ventilators overseas to save children and save the ones under Central Park. They used the ventilator. Trump used the ventilator to save the children. But the deep state turned around and used the ventilator to kill your motherfucking family and told you it was COVID. Cut it out. 39K for every person that died on a ventilator. You remember? Right, Empress Judah. Chap. Now, where the general at? Meanwhile, this dude, Chicago. Now, you got them cats over on YouTube in the filthy ring around the toilet section. Toilet, I mean, I'm talking about the filthy section. All those paperwork ass things talking, right? You got making, putting paper and putting, putting jackets and folders on people wrongly because they clout chasing, looking for monetization over there. <laughs> Meanwhile, you got a real informant, child, Chicago Bears. Charles P. Now tell me, who is currently an agent in the FBI? Chow! Meanwhile, he got the 33 on his shirt. He got the 33 on his shirt. Meanwhile, he a whole FBI, not informant, he an agent. He informed Chicago's upper management, including head coach Matt Herbaflus, general manager Ryan Poles, and president Kevin Warren about defensive coach Allen Williams' house raid being raided. How he know if he ain't a goddamn fat? Chap. With the 33 on the shirt. Okay. He a real, a real agent. Why y'all not talking about him? Chap. Oh, please. Okay. Meanwhile, I went live with this, but this is a re, this is a re circling back. Symbolism with our babies. Red shoes, red shoe club. They wear red shoes. The red shoes that these satanic people wear, it's these shoes are made of human skin. And it's red. Because when they're doing these rituals, when the blood drips down on the shoe, you can't see. Meanwhile, pregnant child. Look. Pregnant child. No, no barefoot. This is a little girl right here. Pregnant child symbolizing the use of pubescent girls to breed baby breeders that are later sold as sacrifice. A lot of these rappers, these Disney's and these these people that come out of nowhere, they are result. They are baby. They are baby that was born underground and groomed underground. They related and all of that. There's no record of birth. Nothing. It's easier for them to, to, to traffic these children and kill them. But these these baby stars, these child stars. They groomed and bragged, and they pushed into the limelight because they are of bloodline, all of them. Whether it was three or four cousins removed, they still bloodline, period. You know, they don't put you up there unless you really selling people out, sacrificing people, or you a bloodline. These children, 
Nobody want to talk about that. Meanwhile, Snoop Dogg, let me drag him. You over here with Bill Gates, nigga. You over here with Bill Gates. Meanwhile, you talking about Trump. They must got the pressure on you, bruh. Because all of their top spokesmen is out of here. No heartbeat detected. Mm. Out of here. You seeing these 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 other these others? Where's these 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 high level names that I'm not gonna say? Where they at? Oh my god! Talking about Trump and all that and that ranch you did. <laughs> now for me, if us as civilians know about these tribunals, you know they know about these tribunals. They know about these executions. You mad or not? You mad or no? Huh? Where the general at? Let me drag this real quick. I didn't do this already, but chow. Let me get it even deeper. Chow. Glorilla. That's Swali and drag. Where the titties is at? Where they at? Don't play with Amina. Now, you look here. This person looks like they got a lot of makeup on. You see in the middle of the chest, it's a, a goat head, a devil's head that's kind of faded. Look like it's covered up with makeup. Don't play with me. Hold on. Women, where your, where your breast ducks at? Where, where your breast is at? Meanwhile, they go to Donna Spell. Child, look, I zooms in. That is an Adonis belt. Men have that. Men have that. Women don't have that. Women don't have that. <laughs> Hold on. Salute to the don't earth. play with me. <laughs> We're going to play. I spy. I'm not saying anything, but I'm saying it all. Hold on. Let me scroll down to this picture. I thought I had it in the watch card. <laughs> <laughs> the top the top views of the blackout show from 2020 to 2022 was 282k don't play with us we don't gotta match nothing hold on uh, what am I looking for again <laughs> What am I looking for again? No Adonis. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know what I'm looking for now. No Adonis spelt. No prostate. Right. Prostate. Where are the breasts at? Not even some orangutan titties. You ain't got nothing, yo. You just flat. Shell. Like a piece of construction paper. And not to mention that brow ridge. But hold on. Don't play with Amina. I'm just introducing a better way to look. Uh, something else to look at. Hold on. Where that shit? These puppets carrying on. They playing each other. Hobson is the Gucci man, was playing Gucci man. Where is that? Oh, let's scroll back a little bit. Okay, bomb. Don't play with me. Child! Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Do not play with me. You must like what you see. <laughs> The brow ridge. Wait a minute. Let me scroll down. Yeah, honey bee. That part. Now, you see that there, right? And then you see this here. Ain't no coincidence that this person, you got that in the middle of your chest. And you like and look from a distance the ma the makeup for me. Don't play with me. Do not ironic in the, in the middle of the chest, and this look like it's covered up. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. There's <laughs> no titties here. None. Child. 
Brown, listen, man. Don't play with me. I stay with the receipts. Chow. And not this right here. <laughs> Chow. <laughs> Chow. <laughs> They photoshopped that to flatten that. You see the bra was sticking now. What the, 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 the five who that lifted what? The five who that lifted what? Oh, Chap. These puppets, yo. I don't care about none of them. I don't care. Salute to the LGBTQ. They using y'all as a shield. Y'all are peaceful people. Y'all not with the with the with the fuck we neither. Y'all not with none of that. They use the, the people that are using y'all as a shield. <laughs> but when you out here putting these putting these trend these men that are, are men and seeing they women instead of just seeing they men dressed up and you know transgender, what's the problem? You can't really call them transgender because they playing a role, whatever. That ain't a woman, yo. Champ. Got a, got got just a bird chest, yo. Canary chest. Chow. Where the titties at? <laughs> right? Chow. Meanwhile. <laughs> here's a rare photo of Michael and Michael and I. Pregnant with Malia Obama. Malia is this one, the oldest one. Is that Sasha? Pregnant where? Chad, where that with Mr. Joe Page at? Michael and I. Who got the crimson shit? Michael and I. Hold on. (laughs) Michael and I. Who's this? Oh, that's Gaddafi. I'm going to do that bill later. Oh, I was talking about the stock market and the Bitcoin. That's what I was talking about before I ended the live. Let me go back to that. Now, stock market crash alert. Brace yourself for the flipping in. Stock market crash. Ben told y'all the stock the stock market was crashing. But the whole thing is crashing now. They've been crashing stuff here and there. But the whole stock market is crashing, which means they can't traffic you no more. Now, for these Bitcoin cats, y'all go in them. Won't be smelling all right, good, Alan. <laughs> U.S. Bitcoin holdings plummet as regulatory uncertainty triggers mass exodus. Yeah, I bet it does. What's up, Rain? U.S. Bitcoin holdings plummet. My name is Miss Lane. And on behalf of MREC TV, we telling y'all that U.S. Bitcoin holders plummet as regulatory uncertainty triggers mass exodus. What we told y'all about Bitcoin. Yeah. Hmm? In the second half of 2020, Bitcoin supply held by U.S. entities, in quotation marks, surged with the start of the bull market that led to all-time highs in 2021. Now we know with Bitcoin moving, ain't nobody playing with that. They dying for that. Following a constant up uptrend since 2014. Them NFTs, all them niggas that was pushing them NFTs, y'all out of here too. Chat. Y'all might not die, but y'all out of here. In the second half of 2020, Bitcoin supply held by U.S. entities surged with the start of the bull market that led to all-time highs in 2021. Following a constant uptrend since 2014. However, this historic trend has shifted with the Bitcoin supply fleeing the United States. Of course it has. We, me and the general popped that Bitcoin older they found dead in Costa Rica. Okay. I popped homeboy that's Adam Skiff's son, the dude in um in the Bahamas with the curly afro that looked like um Jonah Hill and super bad. Okay. Him. Right? Ben told y'all that. We been told y'all that. Data shared on September 26 by an on-chain analyst pseudonyms. They use pseudonyms. The elite, they use pseudonyms for their names when they're trying to hide. Under the uh, uh, analyst Simona D or Crypto Quant illustrates the historic trend and the current trend reversal with the bearish divergence among Bitcoin's price 
historic correlation with this metric. After the peak amount of Bitcoin supply held you by U.S. entities in 2021, which was correlated with the first top in April, the trend reversal started, showing a lower level of similar divergence as the one seen at the time publication of publication. Supply distribution to U.S. entities slightly starts falling at the price goes to its all-time high in November 2021. Bitcoin flees, supplies flee from the United States. Because it's pedophile money. Period. It's pedophile money. And we ain't doing it. Shout. Meanwhile, let's get to the trolling. Now. Salute to Rogue Warrior. Beautiful sister. Shout. This is Ophelia. Latest timing. Potential impacts. They trolling. That's Trump's whole face right there. That's Trump face right there, chap. Look, you pull back, Ponzi scheme, right? That's Trump's face right there. Chap. It's that, that part. You said Chester Coy's right. Okay, let me read this to y'all. This is very important. Then I'm going to end this because both my devices is on E. <laughs> but this is cool. This is so fire. I love this. Okay. Quantum healing. Quantum is what's moving forward regarding this, this republic, the quantum financial system. It includes the quantum computer, quantum phone, quantum physics, quantum computer, quantum financial system, but also quantum healing. Quantum healing is a spontaneous form of healing that manifests as a result of a shift in consciousness. Though we are used to perceiving healing as a physical process, it is not. Our bodies are ultimately comprised of fields of information, intelligence, and subtle energy. True healing is the metaphysical art of creating coherence in the bodies of consciousness. The key to organization of the energy field depends on our ability to store and maintain coherent energy required for self-healing and repair. There's a lot of unhealed people out here, devilishment. They have not taken the time to heal and tend to their wounds, and they out here breathing on everybody else, and we ain't got time for that either. You have to pick a side. There's no fence riding with this. Can't be a parent or auntie or godmother Quantum healing involves regulation on one domain of consciousness, the mind, to bring about changes in another dimension. Get out of your heads. You've been programmed to believe it's mind, body, and spirit when the mind, the reason why it's at the top is because it's the easiest to hack every 10 minutes. It's spirit, your body, and then your mind. Your soul is more important. That's priority. Maintaining, preserving your soul. Your body, you take care of your body because it Host, it is a shell for your soul, your essence. Your mind is shit that gonna have you thinking about shit you don't even dealing with thinking about. Have you stuck in the past or worrying about your future? Live in the now. Hear me. Yeah, no half stepping deeper level, yes, because it's necessary. These children, why nobody but us talking about it? I don't care who on paper. Again, I never thought I would exist to see the day. That cats is talking about paperwork and they from South Side Jamaica Queens, where I'm from, child. Well, not that cat talking about it. He from he from another part of Queens. But quantum healing, detoxing, get out the system. Get out of the system, and it, it, all, it, the, the the detoxing, the ascension, all that is everything, yo. Your quality of life has been violated. Yeah, our ancestors, ancestors from the beginning of our tribes and, 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 and villages. New York City, if you can get out of New York, get out. It has nothing to do with race. It's about money. People are moving into New York. They're moving into New York with these jobs already with seven figures. I was talking about this with Shri. I love her. Yo, New York City housing lottery. People can't apply for the lottery. They got people making seven figures applying for lot for house for apartments that's nine hundred dollars and a thousand dollars. If you make seven figures, go pay for a seven figure apartment that you could afford. 
It's not over. It's just exposing New York. It's exposing the courts and everything, and in California too. Stop externally personifying. Stop believing everything the news. You think the news is telling you. You got Mayor Eric Adams telling that there's no overtime and they cutting all kind of crap over in New York for government workers and city workers. Meanwhile, that cat told them, let the migrants come. We're going to show them New York hospitality. Did it for a check and now he's crying in the car about it. But we, what we're not going to do is blame the migrants that are there for New York issues. Niggas been carrying on for, in New York for a long time. They got real savage and weird and evil when COVID, that dude I made viral kicking that lady head on a train, them killing up that 15-year-old junior in the Bronx, all that is devilishness evil. Them carjacking women in the Bronx, they wilding that, um, um, what's that, Seafood City carrying on. The news been lying to you all the time. They have been lying to you. And stop trusting these puppets more than you trust your own intuition and your loved ones. You want to listen. You want to argue with me about Michael and I? Barack Hussein Obama was a pedophile. And he was the enemy. He was the wolf in sheep clothing. Yeah, I said it with the receipts to back it up and the breakdown. The, it, going all the way back into his bloodline. I want somebody to try and fight me over them with that velvet poster of Barack and Michelle in your living room. Meanwhile, Michelle, oh, the Michael, and Michael and I was a man. And Barack Hussein Obama, a.k.a. Boy Barry Satoro, a.k.a. Voldemort, a.k.a. Little Hitler, a.k.a. Hitler grandson, confirmed bloodline. That's his grandson. He's not like, you know, like a cousin or a, a, a nephew. Barack Hussein, Barack Obama, Barry Satoro, moms, and Stanley Dunham was Adolf Hitler's daughter, one of his daughters. Now, Michael and Michael and I, Michael LeVon Robinson was a man. Them children ain't they children, they're the Nesbitts, Sasha and Malia. A.K.A. Little Hitler, A.K.A. C.I.A. Asset, because you don't know what who he really is. The only thing we know by me doing that breakdown, going into that bloodline recording, is he is Hitler's grandson. Other than that, that Barry Satoro name, that's fake to me. The Obama name is fake to me. A.K.A. CIA asset and pass around. A.K.A. Pum Pum Shot. <laughs> he was a closeted homosexual. A.K.A. Renegade was the Secret Service name for him. A.K.A. Michael and I. <laughs> People going to argue and try to fight you. <laughs> I ain't knocked somebody out in a minute, too. Yeah, come on, argue with me over that velvet post in your living room of Michael and I. <laughs> you said sorcery, right? All right, I'm got this last intel regarding Michael Baxter. I'm salute to them regarding General Milley. Yeah. All right, you got the X over his picture, the the, the article from Michael Baxter. Them the um transcript from them I read yesterday or the day before, and now you get they expediting. They not playing. They look the day before yesterday. It was this. Oh come on. They really on Michael Baxter them site. That's ridiculous. Hold on, yeah. I don't. I, I don't need the, the web freeze brow freezer. I need to get back into where I was at. Welcome, yeah. Hi, yeah. You ain't gonna hang. Okay, hold on, yeah. What? Oh, they, listen, it's like they listening to me. Oh, now I can't get to what happened. Oh, gosh. I thought. 
All right, so what I'm going to do is this is going to be left up for like however long the general says it's going to be left up for. And then this is something new. This is cool. This is so fire. But again, the um, the, the the way we have to move, you know what I'm saying? You said Miss Lena, her best. Right, salute to all the military for their service, that part. Right. And salute to MREC TV. That that self-made and it, you know, for for again, we talking about what they scared to talk about. Your whole, your whole everything that we have seen and learned has been a lie. You got to let go to get, you got to unprogram yourself, deprogram yourselves. But first and foremost, start with traveling in harmony and traveling with loving your heart. And have an open mind. You want to be programmed and, and, and conform to d- them dictating how you move. That's a dis- universal disrespect. You disrespected the universe for allowing something else to move and think for you when it gave you that free will to move and think for yourself. Let me talk. No, I'm not sitting outside on my porch. I don't have a porch. I have a California sunroom and a deck in the back. <laughs> but it, for me, let me just say this. Salute to everybody in this chat and over streaming over on my TV who have went and 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 did the necessary steps to deprogram yourself and have a lighter heart when it comes to this. Salute to all them trolls that circle back. We fuck, we mess with y'all. Y'all know what it is. But I, I'm not, again, I put that meme up there. I'm not stopping reporting, stopping my reporting, the, uh, reporting real news because people are selective with theirs. We don't fence right over here. I don't care who you are. I don't care how many followers you got. I don't care... Or oh, none of that. I don't care what blue check you got. I don't care who you be with. If it come across my desk from white hats, you suspect. And that's that. <laughs> that's that. The white hats got your name in their mouth. You suspect. I don't care. And that's that. So I love and appreciate y'all. Salute to Emrek in general. Salute to First Lady China Black. Salute to SJ. Salute to everybody. Salute to um um. Oh, Emrek and oh, let me make this noise before I get cut off. Saturday, October seventh, Baltimore, Maryland. Go over on Emrek TV and and um, what you call it? knocks out knockout kings of comedy. Yeah, we pulling up to that. Come out and support. We're gonna be there, have a good time, and hopefully they can make this to where they they be going. They're gonna be traveling to different cities. Laughter is the best medicine. Ciao. We're gonna be in the building. Salute. And um. Friday will be the majestic. I got to get back to that. Friday will be the majestic. So I'm going to upload this for two seconds. The general, the general say, take it down. I'm taking it down. It will be available, whatever the case may be, wherever he puts it at. But yeah. Stay, keep vibrating higher. Be aware. Your discernment got to be on crack. Be aware of what's going on out here. Protect your children. Protect others' children. Okay, stop listening to these two dollar com- um, campaigns on TV. If you still alive after you got a vaccine, you lucky as hell. If you ain't having no problems, no side effects, or none of that, you lucky. Take heed. You didn't want to listen to us. You ignored your natural immunity, and I'm not coming down on y'all. But you got a sec. You got a chance now. Holistically you treat yourself. Stop going to the doctor with these prescriptions, and stop letting this agenda. Think and move for you. That's your free will. That again, that's universal disrespect. So I appreciate y'all. <laughs> again, salute to the general, salute to SJ, salute to China Black, salute to the general, first and foremost. Salute to the rec mob. Salute to the front line. Salute to everybody. Again. Right now, you have y'all have no idea. Right now, I am cheesing. You have no idea. But, again, it's a beautiful time to be alive, okay? We are of energy. Be mindful of that. It's the Energy is never created or, or destroyed. It's just simply transferred. Know that your energy affects somebody somewhere. You know? If it ain't essential to you moving forward, leave it right there. 
Stop, stop stressing yourself out trying to deep red pill or or get to people, yo. People constantly choosing their free will to be stubborn or, or be in denial. That's on them. That's not your cross to carry or bear. If you got something to say to somebody, say it to them. Stop fucking lurking on pages, DMs and all of that, and chats, and then don't not listen. You got something to say to me, then say it to me. That's it. So I love and appreciate y'all. <laughs> 1200 in the room, child. Yes. <laughs> that part. And that's what and that's what shadow banning. They shadow banning the big channel. And they, you know, they've been shadow banning me. But that's still that's still tough and that's still tight. Because it's a Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? So so let's tell everybody that over overseas, everybody, international rec mob, everybody that tapped in tonight. Love and appreciate you. Yeah, I got more, but well, I'll hold off to the next time. Whenever the general says, okay? That part. <laughs> so enjoy. Don't go to bed with a heavy heart and a heavy head. Because you rest in your body, but while you rest in your body, your soul is carrying on, it's traveling. So don't go to bed. Go to bed. Let your body rest, your shell rest, and let your spirit go where it may. You from the south, we say porch. Okay. We say stoop in New York. We say the stoop. We sit on the stoop. So, <laughs> have a good night. I love and appreciate y'all. I see y'all on the ring. Enjoy.